So let's take a look at our perpetual intermediates. And how do they tend to interact with our products? So perpetual intermediates do need access to tools. <coughs> On the other hand, they don't need the scope and purpose explained to them. They already know that. Who needs the scope and purpose explained to them? Beginners. So perpetual intermediates don't need that. On the other hand, they are similar to experts in a way. They want their tools, at least the ones that they use, front and center in the interface. They don't want to be wasting time either. So, for example, one of the, one of the uh, tools that tends to be very useful for intermediates is the tooltip. I'm, I'm assuming you all know what a tooltip is. You now you take your little, you hover it over and you get right there, front and center. You don't have to go searching through anything, right? So it tends to work very, very, very well for intermediates. On the other hand, when needed, intermediates do know how to use reference materials. There are some beginners who can't. So intermediates are motivated to dig deeper as long as they don't have to tackle too much at one point in time. So it's the perpetual intermediates, for example, who are more likely to use online help. However, perpetual intermediates tend to use online help in a manner that's a little bit different from what most people expect. You create your online help. You make this nice, nice little menu. Here are the questions you want answered. Do you think the perpetual intermediate goes there? Only if that's what opens in front of them. And then what do they look for? Anyone? Well, if they need to use the online help and they decide not to use the close button, what part of the online help do you think intermediates use? Search. Search. So they use the index. They don't want to go and read all this nice all these nice questions, they want their answer. They're looking for something specific. So what you find is that intermediates, again, they use online help, but they predominantly use it via the index or their search. Because they want to find what they're looking for quickly. Another thing to remember about intermediates, they like to know that advanced features exist, even though they may not need them and they may not use them. So who can give me an example of a product that has a lot of advanced features that people think are really cool? And when you talk to your perpetual intermediates, they're like, yeah, you could do this, this, and this. Have you used it? No. <laughs> Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Photoshop is a great example. Coming out with a new Photoshop. Yes, let's spend another $900. Are you going to use those? No. But you can do that. Great marketing tool. All right. So let's take a look at our little bell curve graph here. And let's look at some of the questions that beginners might ask, perpetual intermediates might ask, and experts might ask. Give you some examples can hopefully give you a little bit better idea and help you remember a little better what each of these types of users need. So, beginner, what's the program scope? Where do I start? It's a very common question. How do I print? You wouldn't think so, right? It's actually very common if you look at some of the research. What does this program do? I have no idea because I'm a beginner. Okay, let's look at the perpetual intermediate. Okay, here I think is the most popular question that comes from perpetual intermediates. Oops, how can I undo? <laughs> right, that's the first thing I look for when I'm an intermediate. What is this control for? I forgot how to import. How do I find facility X? How do I do this? What new features are in this upgrade so I can buy it and justify buying it? Uh, remind me what this specific item does. 
And what was the command to do this? So what? I apologize, that's my phone. <laughs> I was hoping no one would notice. <laughs> You should pay so much attention to me. You don't notice these things. All right, so let's look at our experts. How do I automate this? How do I make it automatic so I don't have to deal with it? What are the shortcuts for this command? How can I do this faster and easier? I don't want to deal with this. I need to get it done. How can this be changed? How can I customize this so it works the way I want because I'm the expert? Uh, what's dangerous? What should I like not do? And is there a keyboard equivalent? Because that's what I want to use. Sorry. No, 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 no. They can wait. 